Hello YouTubers, this is Neil Neil's Coins. Going to show you a coin. It's a pretty expensive coin in this grade. What we got here is a 1928 piece dollar, MS64. Real nice coin. Let me show you the back of it. really pretty coin it's got a little bit of looks like soap spots right here what they did the reason these are on here is before um before these planchets which were struck which are uh they stamp roll around silver planchets out and then that struck on the coin uh sometimes the soap where they washed them off uh, they didn't rinse them good enough. Uh, like I said, 1928 MS64. Real gorgeous coin, but there's a problem with this coin. 1928, if you look at the bottom of it, it's not a 28. It's a 23 and a 28 holder. Now, how could that happen? You can plainly see it's a 23. So that tells me somebody screwed up somewhere. And that's about a nearly a $700 screw up because this coin and MS, if it was a 28, MS64 would be about 780 bucks. 23 is worth retail about 90 bucks. So that's approximately 675, 680 difference. Uh, this coin was donated for this video. It, it, it does not belong to me. Um, it was uh, lent to me for this video to educate y'all on when you go to buy coins, graded coins, Look at the coin. Don't just go buy that. Because if they screw the date up, who's to say they didn't screw the grade up? So always buy the coin, not the holder. This is a perfect example of why you look at your coins before you buy them. You sit down at your dealer table, look at it, I'm a VAM guy, so I'll look to see if anything's doubled or um, sometimes the leaves are doubled or the rays are doubled on these things on the front. Sometimes the tear up here is doubled. I check them anyway, but you never know. You, get, you may get one like this. Somebody did buy this coin. The dealer that I bought it from bought it as a 28 he paid that money for it. that's 700 and something dollars for it but he got ripped because he turned around and it sold it to somebody else he he missed it and um and then it was caught by the buyer and then of course he got his money back but uh the dealer is out that money uh, I may check to see if I could buy this from him. I don't know what he might want for it. It's just a novelty now, but it's a good educational piece to show. If you want to see anything else like this, let me know. Uh, I'm going to start doing single coin videos, shorter videos. Uh, try not to run my mouth too long uh more coins coming up i got another coin i want to do another video on uh, this one belongs to me i don't think i've ever shown it before real different coins stay tuned for that please like share subscribe and i'll see you next time